Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has started rolling out the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 25120 to the Dev Channel Insiders, and this started rolling out on the 18th of May 2022. Now, with this latest Preview Build 25120, it's not a major release, so there's only a few quality improvements and bug fixes uh, worth mentioning. And also there's a new experimental feature, uh, which we will take a look at shortly in this video as well. Now, last week when I posted uh, the dev channel uh, video for build 25115, um, as I mentioned in that video, uh, these are early builds uh, in the dev channel now that Microsoft is starting to test for uh, the Windows 11 feature update. Uh, that's going to be version 23H2, also codenamed Sun Valley 3, which is going to be rolling out next year in the latter half of 2023. But um, something um, just to keep in mind, and which I do say with most of the Dev Channel videos that I do post, uh, the Dev Channel is eligible to receive new features and experiences, but according to Microsoft, these may never get released. So just keep that in mind when we are dealing with the Dev Channel. And that's because Microsoft say they want to try out different concepts and get feedback. Now, one or two things just to take note of uh, with build 25120, ARM64 devices are now able to update to this build where last week that was not the case. And there's also ISO image files available for this build 25120 to download if you are a Windows insider in the dev channel. Now, just to talk about this new uh, feature, as mentioned, uh, starting with this preview build, uh, they, Microsoft say they are beginning to explore exposing lightweight interactive content on the Windows desktop. So if we just go to a screenshot taken of this new experimental feature, which is basically a desktop search widget, and this, this is just a screenshot taken from the release notes from build 25120. Uh, Microsoft say that today, and I'm quoting, Windows exposes this type of content in the widgets board. To begin assessing this general idea in interaction model, the first exploration uh, in this area adds a search box, as we can see in the screenshot, displayed on the desktop that enables you to search the web. So basically, this is a desktop search widget using Microsoft Bing to search the web. And uh, this does look very similar, though, just on a side note. Uh, to the um, um, Power Toys Run utility found in the Power Toys Utility app, which I do feature quite a bit on this channel, and also the uh, Edge Bar that Microsoft was testing a couple of weeks ago, the New Look Edge Bar that Microsoft was testing a couple of weeks ago uh, in the Microsoft Edge Canary web browser, which I did post on. And just to give you an, an idea, um, this is Power Toys Run from the Power Toys Utility app. Uh, which lets you mainly search features um, on the on your actual operating system and not so much the web. So you can see it's very similar if we just enable it, then disable it and re-enable it again. Very similar to this new desktop search uh, that Microsoft is now testing with build 25120. And if we just head back to that screenshot, and if we just go to another screenshot, which I took from that video that I did, uh, post on the uh, Edge Bar, the new look Edge Bar that Microsoft was testing in Edge Canary. Um, as we can see, it looks very similar to that Edge Bar. And this Edge Bar now has actually been discontinued um, and has uh, been removed from Edge Canary since posting. And if we just go back to that image from Bold 25120, we can see that they look very similar. And they also both say search the web or type a URL. So obviously, this is now something that Microsoft is starting to, you know, get serious about, so to speak. Now, um, one or two things to note with this new desktop search. Um, Microsoft says that if you would like to remove uh, the search box, you can right click on the desktop, choose show more options and toggle the show search option, which will remove it from your desktop. And they also say a reboot is required um, after updating to this build to trigger this experience. And Microsoft also mentions that not all Windows insiders are actually going to see this new uh, desktop search in build 25120 as it is on a controlled rollout. Now, just to do some uh, quick mentions uh, regarding uh, some of the fixes that have been made available with build 25120. 
there are two four suggested actions and um, the fixes for that is that uh, the suggested actions should appear for more date and time formats now and they've also addressed some issues with certain formats when copying a date and or time and then uh, Microsoft say they have fixed an issue that could crash the settings app uh, they've also are improving the performance of Wi-Fi networks after enabling Wi-Fi from the Wi-Fi section of quick settings they've also fixed an issue leading to some unreadable text on the performance page uh, fixed an issue which could cause Windows Update to fail and then the last one worth mentioning they fixed a bug that causes stutter in the progress wheel animation and I will leave a link down below uh, to uh, this uh, re the, re the release notes for build 25120 um, as there is a little bit more here you can go read up on and check out more in depth if that is something of interest to you and also if you are an insider and you would like to download the ISO image files for build 25120 you can do so by clicking on this link. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.